Hi, it's Matt from Go Green Autos. So today here we have a Citroen Bilingo Electric. These are the same bands as the Peugeot Partner. 100% electric, it's got a 22 kilowatt hour battery pack. And this is a 2014 model in this very unusual red. Very few of these electric vans are in a color. Obviously most of them are white. Um, and this is a very nice dark red. Uh, I don't know whether it's coming across on the camera, but it's not your normal sort of bright red like the Nissans are. This is more of a deeper cherry red. So these uh, partners and Bilingos are the only uh, small electric van that has got three seats up front. They also all have air conditioning and they've got DC rapid charging. So let's talk about the charging. On the front wing here is your AC charging port. This is a three and a half kilowatt type one uh, 16 amp charger and this is what you would use at home or at workplace or on a public slow charging uh, point but typically your charging is going to be overnight while you're not using the van then on the back here where the diesel filler would be on the diesel van is your rapid charging port so this is a 50 kilowatt dc chadomo port and this is where you get that quick 20 to 30 minute rapid charge and uh, typically um, in motorway services, also now in some um, petrol forecourts. Uh, so this is your roadside rapid charge while you're using the van, but the majority of time you're going to be doing that overnight charge when you're not using the van. So the purpose of these videos primarily is to show the condition. And if you see my videos before, you know I point out every little stone chip mark or scratch I can find. I don't hide anything. And then that gives people the confidence to buy the vehicle from afar and then I get the vehicle delivered to you. But of course it's here at Lyford as well if you do want to come and view and test drive. You can see it looks in really nice condition. Um, it does look good in, in a colour rather than white and it is uh, shining very nicely. Um, but at the end of the day, it is a 2014, so it's now six years old. I think it's done 22,000 miles, but we'll look at that in a minute. Um, but there are a few little things I'm going to point out, and I will come across sounding a little bit negative, but everything is very minor. It is a great looking van, but as I said, I don't hide anything. And if people are buying it without viewing it first, then I want them to know exactly what they're getting. So I'm going to be pointing out very minor little scratches that most people just wouldn't be worried about on a van. Let's start at the front here all good at the front nothing to point out there the bumpers are scratch free round here the wheel trims um, have got some curbing but they're just a plastic wheel trim you're always going to get that on the near side where they hit curbs but that one is the worst uh, but easily replaced or just whip them off and just have the black steel wheels which most people tend to do anyway um, a minor scratch there about three quarters of an inch a uh, couple of little ones there. That's the trouble with red paint is they do show up scratches more because of the sort of um, paler undercoat. Uh, the mirror is all in nice condition. It all looks really good down here. Generally the whole van looks really good. I'm being super picky here. Um, but yeah, no dents or scratches down the side. Um, there's a bit of bird poo marks here in the paint there and there, but they might polish out. Um, but you've got to look very closely to see them. Um, some minor scratching on that wheel trim. Uh, again, uh, tiny little uh, scratch there, but really insignificant. And then looking round the back, um, we've got a little crack here in the um, lamp cluster, but it's not letting in water or any damp of course um, and not uh, bad enough to even consider replacing the light. Uh, looking on the back doors here there's a couple of tiny little dents here where because uh, this bit single skin where something from the inside has sort of pushed it out and that little one did have the paint uh, knocked off it so it's got a bit of the proper red paint and lacquer on there. Uh, we have a little dent here in the door that's clearly probably where the wrong door's been slammed first um, and it always happens because that then smacks the uh, this door um, so you always get those on these vans um, there's a few scratches here in the paint and a few minor ones there on the back doors but as i said minor little scratches always show up on a, a colored van whereas they don't on a white van um, and then i'll just show you on the inside it's never been ply line, so it's all original. 
there's some scratching on the side which you're going to get that of course um, these are the mats that uh, come on the floor from the factory I've put a new mat on the floor so it does look really clean and tidy but yeah underneath that um, I can't lift it actually but yeah the floors in really nice condition um, so uh, I can ply line these ply line these if you want to um, but uh, yes, your choice, or you obviously you can get it done. You can get people to come out in vans and fit it as well. Um, the original hardboard panels here, this one is punctured. Um, and then uh, this one's got a little crack in it, but these are quite delicate. Uh, I don't know why they do these on the factories, because it's only like uh, two and a half mil hardboard. They don't really offer much protection, but anyway, there we go, that's what it is. Um, but yeah, really clean and tidy in the back here. So yeah, the only um, more significant damage on the van is down here on this rear plastic bumper. It's obviously had a parking knock, a reversing knock, and pushed in a bit here, and it split the plastic bumper here. Um, this is the uh, um, pull-out bit to get to your um, place where you screw in the uh, toe eye. Um, yeah, so that's the only really... Um, negative thing about the van it's just that corner but it's all still solid um it's just that bumper is uh, dented slightly and unfortunately split but again not bad enough to consider changing it and then looking around here we've got some minor scratching on that wheel trim but that one's not too bad i would just say the tire tread depths are on the website tires are all good on this and uh, also everything i'm pointing out i've taken pictures of so you can zoom right in and have a good look at the pictures in detail that's on the photo gallery on the website so we've got minor scuffing here well not not even scuffing minor little scratches but really insignificant they will probably polish out if you want to have a go there's a longer scratch here um tiny minor scuff there but really small we've got some more significant ones here a scratch there about an inch and a half long one there about an inch and a half and then there is a dent here it's obviously caught something um, but it's a scratch that has dented the paintwork but um and the paint had chipped just here here and then a bit of paint missing there so i've dabbed a bit of um touch up stick in all of that and lacquer um but yeah that's as worse as it gets looking down here again because this is single skin there's um three little dents here four actually there's a tiny tiny one there where stuff has um knocked that skin from the inside uh, but the paint hadn't chipped it all is all fine um that's it for this side it's it's all nice actually um and all of this is all very minor as I said, I'm just uh, pointing everything out so you know exactly what you're buying if you're buying this remotely. But you would receive this and uh, actually think it was a great looking van. It really does look uh, nice for a, a six year old van. And then the only other thing down here on the front, there's a minor little scratch there about um, two and a quarter inches long on that front bumper. Um, but the bonnet's all chip free and uh, uh actually there's a, some minor little scratches there but yeah all all looks really um nice condition and the windscreen doesn't have any chips in either so let's have a look inside um i'll just remove my bit of paper there so we've got new carpet mats on the floor on both sides uh seats are in really nice condition uh mine a little bit of wear there on this bolster but exactly what you'd expect as you can see it it's all um looking very nice and uh, nothing else to really point out inside so i'll just start it up and then we can see here the mileage is 22,000 let's just turn the radio off 22,552 miles and then inside these you've got um, air conditioning single slot cd fm radio you don't get bluetooth um this is your gear selector uh part reverse neutral drive you drive them like an automatic of course but they don't have gearboxes because it's electric uh, we've got overhead storage and then we've got our two seats um so the other thing i'll just talk about is range uh we've uh, got the battery here is fully charged it's showing an estimated range of 64 miles but of course that's an estimate and if i push the buttons here on the end of the stalk we can have a look up on the screen 
and the recent driving is at three miles per kilowatt hour which uh, isn't great that was me uh, I was um, did a drive in this and it was all dual carriageway well I would say 75% of the journey was dual carriageway and I had the back loaded up with logs and we had the heating on um, so that's uh, three miles per kilowatt hour is pretty inefficient driving but that's about as bad as you're going to drive in the winter and that's the sort of range you're going to see these have got a 22 kilowatt hour battery so let's say roughly 20 kilowatts is usable driving at three miles per kilowatt hour um, three times 20 is 60 miles so that's the sort of winter range and the summer range you're going to really want to drive these at four to four and a half miles per kilowatt hour so you're going to see a range of roughly 80 miles in the summer if driven efficiently so let's show you the seating on this uh oh there's one other little thing i need to show you there is a tiny little hole in the fabric here as you can see it's only about two to three millimeters um, so the seating in these is quite flexible so this outer seat will lift up and lock up there and that gives you some extra space on the floor if you want to store tools or boxes or whatever you can then drop that down and drop the back down and then that gives you a little area there that's completely flush with the cargo floor and you can actually get three meter lengths in here pipe or conduit it's got a hook under there under the um, glove box but inside the van you can get three meter lengths which is great for a small van like this and it saves putting it up on the roof which um, adds noise and drag and therefore reduces range and then this middle seat lifts up and you get a little bit of hidden storage under there and you can also drop the middle seat down it gives you a little uh, writing table where you can eat your lunch so yeah having three seats makes them hugely practical uh, it's great if you need to um, drop your kids off at school or that sort of thing you can fit three adults in these that middle seat is a little bit narrow but it's completely doable it's just a bit of a squeeze but we've got three inertia seat belts there um, so yeah great bands if you need to occasionally carry people and then the only other thing i'll show you is here we've got the charge cable this is a new um, 32 amp charge cable this end is type 2 uh, to plug into a home or workplace wall charger or a public charging post and all AC charging posts and home chargers are all type 2 in fact all chargers are type 2 and then this end is your type 1 connector which plugs into that socket on the front wing I can also supply a portable charger often called a granny cable and that will allow you to charge the van on a normal main socket and I do a free loan of those as well so you'd have to buy the cable with the van if you want one uh, but when you get your wall charger installed if you no longer need that portable charger you can return it back to me and I'll give you a hundred percent refund that's why it's a free loan and the full details of that are on the website let's just have a quick look at the paperwork we've got uh, two keys uh, the, the original spare key has lost its spring in the key, key blade there but it all still works and the remote works the main key is this nice premium quality weighty key and then the v5 here um, it's uh, come from a lease company uh, it's got no previous keeper so only the one owner from new and the registration date is the 18th of July 2014 uh, we've got the books here as well the service book wasn't stamped previously but we have got here um, a service history printout from the lease company so two services there these ones here so all the information about this um, service history and all the information about the vehicle and uh, we've obviously just serviced it as well as we do with all EVs uh, we've put a cabin filter a new um, 12 volt battery up front uh, needed a headlight bulb we've got a new punch repair kit under the seat because that was missing uh, we've also fitted a new door check um, strap there because that was getting a bit clicky um, checked all the pads and brakes and everything uh, rebalanced all the wheels and I would just say it has also recently had new back brakes discs and pads not that they would have been worn out they would have just corroded because um, if you drive an EV properly you hardly touch the brakes and these EVs um, have got very heavy or strong regen so it's almost sort of one pedal driving with these so if you drive these efficiently you just never touch the brakes they're just really nice to drive um, 
and uh, yeah obviously everything works it should do without any fault or errors so all the other information is on the website uh, so do have a look at that and uh, this fan is ready to go so if you're interested give me a call or email and as always i can deliver these anywhere in the country and it will come to you on a trailer or a flatbed and it will be fully charged and ready to use